John Adams had as much right as anyone to have an opinion on this, and he said that the American Revolution ended before the first drop of blood was shed at Lexington. That the American Revolution is something that began in about 1760, 60, when actually for him, John Adams, the starting point was James Otis's argument against the uh, petition of Lechmere, his argument against the writs of assistance in 1761. And Adams later said that then and there the child independence was born. I'm not quite sure if that's the case, but you know Adams knew more about it than I did. The Another possible starting point could be the Stamp Act, the Revenue Act. From my standpoint, the real moment after which there is no return is the, the Tea Act in 1773 and the destruction of the tea at the end of 1773. Because the destruction of the tea then triggers Parliament to respond by closing the Port of Boston, suspending the government of Massachusetts, clo and doing other things which the Bostonians call intolerable. And at this moment, the colonies will have a choice. Do we stand with Boston or have these guys now gone too far? We don't want them to shut down Philadelphia or Charleston or New York. Um, and it's the outcome. Parliament, the empire striking back in early 1774 and then the Whigs and the colonies, the other colonies standing together and opposing this retaliation against Boston. That's the moment after which there is no return.